Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about bags. It's going to be a list of bags which I would be rather happy to buy instead of my Chanel classic flap if for any reason uh, I couldn't get it. So the idea to film this video came after a chat I had with my, with my cousin and she asked for my advice uh, if I could suggest any particular bags instead of a Chanel flap. First of all, I want to say that there are certainly different options for like a Chanel sort of replacement, if you wish. I myself was in a position uh, several years ago uh, when I wanted a Chanel classic flap, but I couldn't justify the price. So every time I wanted it, it would get even more expensive every time. So I decided like why splurge for a bag when there are so many amazing designers who make equally as beautiful bags as Chanel and I went for uh, this bag instead. I'll show you. So when I got this bag, so these bags are not that popular nowadays, but they had their moments. So how many years ago? Six, seven, eight years ago, maybe. So they were insanely popular, if you remember. So this is a bag by Valentino. Uh, it has a chain shoulder strap here, as you can see. Um, I was quite happy with my purchase back then, but I just couldn't get Chanel flap out of my head. So a couple years later, I decided to go for Chanel bag. Now I'm trying to sell this Valentino because two bags are very similar to each other, so I don't need to have two similar bags in my collection. Well, basically, it's not a collection of bags so in my closet, I would say, because I don't have that many bags. I could be happy with this bag, but nowadays it's not as popular, which makes it actually quite unique. Uh, and another thing uh, to mention about this bag, which is obviously a, like a whole different story, which is irrelevant to this video, but the surface of this bag is very fragile, in my opinion. When I was carrying this bag, I would worry that I would scratch it accidentally. A couple of years later, I went uh, for this bag. I don't have the dust bag anymore for my precious favorite Chanel bag. And I don't know, it just disappeared. Can you imagine, guys? Last December, my husband and I were invited to a book presentation of my friend. Uh, we had a lovely time. I got this bag out of its dust bag. I left it on my bed, supposedly, and when I came back, it wasn't there. It just disappeared, so I couldn't find it ever since. We had people at home, so our parents, so my in-laws and my mother. Obviously, none of them would take the dust bag, right? So I don't know if it was thrown uh, in a rubbish bin accidentally. So this is the Chanel classic flap in question. Now, if I were to choose only one bag from all the bags I have, um, then it would definitely be uh, the Chanel flap bag. And I also have this caviar uh, leather, which is scratch resistant. And when I wear this bag, I don't worry about it that much. But I understand that it may not be everyone's cup of tea. Or I understand that it is getting so much more expensive every year and I was lucky enough to get it for nearly half the price it is right now. And I also got a tax free on it. But there are obviously so many beautiful bags which you can go for instead the Chanel flap. And one of them would be Bulgari bags. Now, maybe quite unexpectedly guys but what i think of bulgari bags i don't own any i would be glad to own one because bulgari is a jewelry brand i find that the the bags almost have the jewelry status which in my head this fact implies that they are beyond all of this fashion um trends and they are just on their own very classic elegant bags i i'm not speaking of just one Bulgari uh, bag style, so um, all of them are equally beautiful. They were also very popular. I remember uh, like maybe five years ago, lots of fashion influencers would carry them. Now they also have this beautiful serpente like snake element, which is a signature by Bulgari. And I love the fact that um, these bags are not that recognizable, so they don't have the brand name screaming out of them unless you are a flat fashion enthusiast and you are familiar with this bag in the first place. And I genuinely think that Bulgari bags are very elegant, 
very chic. Now the second in this list would be Cartier bags. Again, a jewelry house, a jewelry brand. Now again, I'm of the same opinion as with the Bulgari. There is a certain model I'll show you, which is, I believe, quite new. Maybe the most recent model. The next bag is a Celine bag. Ironically, so th that logo of Celine is quite, um, it resembles, in my opinion, the CC of Chanel. So you also have this sort of um, double CC. Okay, so the fact that the logo was brought back to life after these many years, in my opinion, is a testament that it is a timeless piece. The bag with a logo, with this logo, is a timeless piece. And I imagine that even after 20, 30 years, if this bag, this Celine logo bag, wouldn't exist in the permanent sort of collection by Celine, it would still make a beautiful, like absolutely gorgeous uh, vintage piece. Now, the next option I would consider would be going for a different Chanel bag, so not the classic flaps. Uh, as you know, Chanel has a wide variety of bags, so a great selection of bags. There are these square minis or rectangle minis. They have the same look. In general, there are so many different bags which are still by Chanel. And the last but not least is an option to go for a vintage bag or pre-loved bags. And I actually happen to love the look of vintage Chanel flaps. I think that each one of them is so unique with its own different story. So that's it guys, bye bye and I hope to see you in my next videos.